So, what's what's going on in that TikTok video, man? Uh, can we talk about it? What's what's going on? Was is that yeah, something? Is that something that that happened to you, or or what? Huh? That's a currently situation. Oh. That's going on right now. Oh, that's going on right now. Okay, I need you to get your audio together. Is is you talking into your headphones or you got me on speakerphone? What's up? We need to get we need to get that audio right. I can hear you good okay now. Okay, I can hear you real good now. That's what's up. All right, Mississippi back in the building. What's, bro, what's, what's, what's going on, my guy? No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Let's have a conversation, TikTok. In the trucking industry, they say go to a mega carrier, then go to a small carrier that treats right, wrong. I worked for Montgomery Transport and left him to go work for a uh, small company, uh, about a fleet of seven trucks, I believe. CCS Logistics in Columbus, Mississippi. Well, they had a truck. It was raggly. And it failed DOT inspection. For the the pitman arm. Yes, the pitman arm. So they put the truck out of service. So they told me to go home and then pick up the truck. Ooh. Well, the week go by, didn't hear nothing about from them. Reach out to them and everything. Still nothing. Well, that Friday, well, that Thursday, I sent another text message out. Dispatch called me, we, well, we're going to have to let you go so you can pick all your things up at the Columbus Yard. Whatever it is, what it is. Since Mississippi is a right to work state, and they can just fire you for any reason. So I was like, cool, whatever. So I got up there, well, they cleaned out my truck for me. Didn't ask them to do that at all. They stole stuff out of my truck, stole money, and left all my stuff, and they stole food. You understand that? And they left all my stuff upside the building. I got there that Friday, got all my stuff. Well, I asked the owner, well, I tried to get to the owner. The owner, having talked to me, having asked a phone call, and he owed me three weeks of pay. They said, well, you didn't turn in this, you didn't turn in that. So I turned in all my stuff. W-2, I-9, and all that. I turned it in Monday. They said, okay. Uh, that Friday, last Friday, they said, well, but he didn't, the owner didn't. So one of his other employees did, told me, well, get everything in before Wednesday, we'll still be to pay you. Fine, whatever. I got all my stuff in. It is Friday, and he still owe me money. No check in my direct deposit, no nothing. And he's not answering my phone call. So, I'm trying to figure out what is my options. Because Mississippi is a right-to-work state, and if I try to sue him, they going to basically try to sell it out for pennies on a dollar. So, I'm trying to figure out what legal recourse I can have because it is a felony how much he owed me it's over a thousand dollars and plus he owed me for three weeks of work that he haven't paid me for three weeks work for work and before anybody say anything yeah I understand I shouldn't have been working for somebody that long and I ain't got paid but I tried to be optimistic and all this stuff so I just CCS Logistics yeah Columbus, Mississippi. And it's going to be hard to find this company. I'll find them on Indeed. That's the only way I can find, I found them. Because they under a different uh, company also. So. I just want to know what you talk What can I do about it? Alright, can you hear me? Alright, there you go. Perfect! Let's go! Let's go! 
All right, so floor is yours, my man. What's what's going on? Well, the CSS CSS Logistics. I is at Columbus, right? I went to them after I left Montgomery. Cool, you know. They said, you know, they did the normal trope. You'll make this much money. You'll make this. You'll make that, right? Boy, the truck, the truck is raggedy. I find them on Indeed, and all right, first week went by, cool, whatever. Truck was I, I should have knew because I picked the truck up at the shop. That's a bad sign already. So I ended up doing a uh, picking the truck, or taking the truck, and picking the truck up at the shop. All right, the truck didn't idle. Oh, yes, it does. No, it didn't. Then turn around. All right, fast forward things. I ran a few loads for that week. Well, I need the truck looked at in the shop anyway. Well, they didn't get to it. Well, we'll get to you next week or something like that, they said. It, they didn't want to look at it right then. So I ended up coming home that Monday, last Monday, I got pulled over for DOT inspection, and it failed. And that's when I said the pitman arm, basically, I don't know. The, basically, it was shot, basically, what I DOT understand, the way I understood from DOT. And basically, they put me out of service. They picked up the truck, and they came and basically told me to go home and wait. That's what I did. Well, we go by. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So that Thursday come around. Huh. Still nothing. Then they called me Thursday night uh, around six something and said they want to let me go. And I pick up myself at the yard Friday. I asked about the pay. Well, I talked to the owner. Talk to the owner and nothing. So it it been frustrating. It really has. And now the day done rolled around, still no money. Let's unpack this, man. So you 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 found this company. What's the name of this company again? C C S Logistics. C C as in cat, C as in cat, S as in Sam Logistics. Yes. Where are they out of? Columbus, Mississippi. Columbus, Mississippi. And you found this company by way of Indeed. Yes, yes. She reached out to me on Indeed. I guess I went through one of her one one of the ads and clicked on it and she messaged me back. So is this a is this a small company, woman owned company, uh uh family owned company? What what kind of company is it? What what's the What's the lifestyle yeah, of the company? Uh, well, I won't say it's a family-owned company. It's more of a. It's more of a. Let's see how the Black how, Ops. How it. Black Ops company. That basically it runs off of. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's what. That's the feel you get for it. So they they reached out to you by by way of Indeed and and they they had. Uh, a offer package and it sounded good to you and you decided to take them up on it. So when you get there, yep. you were seeing red flags already. Yeah. Uh, one thing, one thing, another thing got me over there. They like one day orientation. I was like, okay, one day orientation, that's not bad, you know? I said, what do I be doing in orientation? They're like, oh, you'll watch all your videos and have your training. I'm like, can I not just do that on my, my phone? I'm like, no, you have to do it in the office. Okay. This is how you know some ain't right red flags. I didn't even do an application for them. Didn't, do, didn't go through no clearinghouse. 
so no clearinghouse, no applications. What you just gave them your license information and they just ran it, and then they said you was approved and 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 brought you on in there. Basically, they got my license, social, and my medical card. That's the only thing I gave them. That's all it took for them to get you in. Basically, yeah. Wow. Let 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 me find a company like that because every every time I. I look for a company. They be like, yeah, we got to go through your clearinghouse. We got to go through our insurance. We got to go through know, this. Right? We got to go through that. This company right here just said, whoa, whoa, Nelly. But you already felt that it was something kind of off with that anyway because they didn't go through all of those channels. Yeah. I knew someone right. But yo, even that, even though your gut was telling you that, you 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 still said bump it. Let me see what the company is about, though. Let let me give the company the benefit of the doubt. And that's exactly like what I did. Now I ain't gonna lie to you. All right, so one day orientation. I they, pulled a rookie mistake. Huh? I said I pulled a rookie mistake. Okay, that that's fine. That's cool. That's cool. That's understandable. You get in there, you do the one day orientation. They toss you the keys to to the truck, and as soon as you get in the truck, no, 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 no. They no. toss me to the keys. I take that black back. They gave me the keys to a truck to go take my drug test. I did do a drug test. I take that back. And they took gave me the keys to uh, take my drug test, and then go take that truck to the. The truck I they talking keys to was the standard. Gave me notes telling me go to the shop and pick. That's why I pick up my truck because I can run automatic and I can run standard, but I prefer automatic. Don't care who everybody want to say. Oh, that's not a truck that I be a steering wheel holder. We still make the same amount of money. Facts. <laughs> okay, so you you drove the standard over to the shop. And mm-hmm. you see the truck that they about to the, you see the truck that they about to put you in. What uh what what was going on with the with the truck and why was it in the shop? The AC unit or something like that, they had to put in a new line for that. That line kept leaking, so the guy who had put in there they either didn't tighten something tight on there. Or because it was leaking as you're going down it, uh, because you know the newer trucks, the uh, exhaust running on the bottom, so it was hitting that exhaust, so it's smoke coming up everywhere all the time. Unless you just hauling behind down the highway, and other other than that, it's just leaking all the time. But DOT didn't say nothing about that. Okay, so now you get your first load. You pull into the way station, you get popped by the deal. No, actually, I worked that whole week. I worked the whole week. And I it was, I come out my home time that Monday and got pulled in. I know uh, it's one of those places that it's not a DOT checkpoint, but it kind of is at the same time. It's one of those, I call it ghost uh, ghost places. Or they just pop up and pull you. It's enough area to pull you in to do an inspection if they want to do. Like a west area, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So they 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 pull you in. They they do the inspection. They put you out of service. Why did they put you out of service? What did they find? Uh, the pitman arm was messed up. They said, one DOT said, this is when you know it's bad because DOT got another DOT to come over there. He was like, hey, you see this? He said, I ain't seen something that, like that in 10 years. I'm sitting there in the truck like, what you mean you ain't seen? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Because, like, you ain't seen something like this in 10 years. I'm thinking, all right, cool, whatever. Then he put me uh, there. You know, our sleepers have those airbags on them, right? Both of the airbags on the sleeper was audible leak. 
So that's another thing you put me out of service for. So, yeah, Mississippi don't play it. And <laughs> Mississippi don't play it all. <laughs> okay, now yeah. you're at the rest area. How how far away are you from home? I was, I was but at that point, I was like 10 miles away from home. Oh, okay. Did somebody come and pick you up, or did they take you home, or what? No, nah, my wife can't pick me up. Okay. So that's a good thing. Right, right. They actually told me just uh, leave the keys in the truck and we'll have uh and just go home. I'm like, that's a long way to walk. <laughs> just like that. Just uh just like that. Didn't 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 give a care how you got home, didn't give a care about your safety or nothing. Nope. Just just leave the keys in the truck and, and, and just go home, just like that. Yep. And she said, well, the reason why we're doing it like that because we don't know when somebody's going to come out there and retrieve the truck. So they already took the load off me because I was all in the load. Huh. So didn't offer no conversation, no no nothing, just go home, bye, and, and just leave the truck in the keys. Just like that. Yep. And that was another red flag right there. Like, because they was mad. Because they was, when I said I was mad, she was highly mad. When I sit there and told him I got pulled in for inspection and I got put out of service. Well, what was you doing? What did you do? Was you speeding? Huh? Excuse me? You know they can just stop you at any time, right? So they trying to blame you for the reason why they got inspected. Mm-hmm. And they got put out of service. Okay, so you're at home. You didn't for days hit. at this point. I went home that Monday, just sitting, chilling. I'm like, okay, no, nothing. All right, cool, whatever. Well, take that lot back. I take that lot back. I went back up there that uh, well, I went back up there where I had the truck parked at and checked on the truck. Cause they didn't at that point they didn't say they were gonna move the truck. They said they would have somebody come out there and fix it. That's exactly what they told me. They won't have somebody come out there and fix it. Was it still there? Nope. I was about to call the police because this do not look good. And I was looking out for myself. So I called my dispatcher. I blew up her phone. She asked the phone, like, it's like at this point, it's like eight o'clock at night. She's like, hello? Uh, where's my truck? Oh, we had somebody come get it. Okay, that would have been nice to know because I was going to call the police and report it stolen. Wow, just, oh, no, just, it's kept, at the yard. just kept you in the dark. Didn't yeah, even yeah. let you that they came and got the truck or not even giving you no status on the, on, on the repair. Well, the, only thing I told, the only thing I knew that they were going to have somebody come pick up the load. And that's it. That's the only thing I knew. Wow. Okay, so you got a hold of her. You got confirmation that the truck is back at the yard. Uh, who reached out first, you or her, to let that you wasn't no longer with the company? Well, I text them. I let it go Tuesday because it happened that Monday. Tuesday, I just like whatever. They fixed the truck. And I don't want to rush the process. I want to go ahead and fix it and do what else I've been asking them to do. Good. Well, Wednesday rolled around. Well, about nine, nine, ten o'clock. I'm like, well, I ain't heard nothing from them. Man. So I reach out to somebody. I reach out to my dispatcher. Uh, what's going on? Uh, when will I be good? Nothing. All right. Thursday. Same message. Send it to her. Now, I sent it to the owner because I had the owner's number, too. Okay, nothing. So, uh, bro, 6 o'clock that evening, she called me back and said, well, we're going to have to let you go, and you can get all your stuff from the yard. Okay. I said, well, all right, what are we going to do about my pay? Well, you have to talk to Chad, which is the owner, about my pay. All right, cool, whatever. So I went up there. Well, 
that Friday, I went up there. I got there around seven thirty somewhere in there, eight o'clock. No, actually, I was supposed to be leaving the house. So I mean, I got up there around nine. That's when I got up there, and I I see all my stuff on the side of the building. That's strange. So they cleaned out my whole entire truck. They have stole food from me. They have damaged equipment. And they have stole money. And other things. So you there. You see your stuff on on, on the ground, tossed out. Um, yep. You go up there to talk to the uh, owner about your pay. What was the conversation about... Uh, What's the conversation that was well, like? Well, yeah, I didn't I have a conversation with him. I had the conversation with a, um, well, I don't know what. He's over operation. That's what he is. He's over operation. So I was like, because the reception went to the back and he came back up. He's on a, a uh, operation. So I talked to him. I said, well, what about my pay? Well, you didn't have, you didn't turn in your paperwork. I said, the paperwork has been stuck in the truck. And I don't know where it's at because I didn't clean out my own truck. Well, all right. I said, so can we just, can you just give me a 1099 form and y'all just write me a check and we can just call it good. And I ain't got to deal with y'all and y'all ain't got to deal with me. Uh, uh, Well, let me go to the back. Went to the back. Well, he came up with the same booklet that I was supposed to fill out. The only difference is this time the booklet don't have the application form. The last time I didn't know uh, it had the application form in there. For, I don't know. You don't know, already hired me without having an application form, but whatever. But it didn't have one. So I'm like, okay, well, just fill this out and you'll get your stuff or you'll get your money as long as you have it in by Wednesday. You'll be straight. You will get you paid out. All right. I took it home. That's when I went through everything and figured out what I was missing and or see that I have everything. Cool. I text him everything was missing and everything. Like the whole nine yards. No response. At all. Until well, I even reached out to, uh, I emailed and I text, and he called me a lot earlier. He actually, um, I guess a TikTok video somebody showed him, because <laughs> he reached out to me, and uh, he said, uh, "Well, we don't have none of your stuff. That's a lie." I reached out to somebody, and nobody reached that back out to me. Well, that's a lie. I got emails and texts. Let's just put your your stuff on the side for a minute, and let's talk about what is really important, the money. Where's the money? Show me the money. <laughs> exactly. Like, forget the stuff. I The stuff can be replaced. Where's my money? You going to give me my money? <laughs> Where's my money, man? <laughs> That where is my money? Where's my money? Man? Where's my, money? Uh, my money? Why why are we talking about stuff? Why are we not talking about my Where's my money? So where we at? Oh, we talking about where, the money. Where we at, Mississippi? On the Where's my money? Like I mean, how much do they well, actually actually owe me. you? How how much do they owe you? Yeah, well, I won't go into that number right now, but he uh, he owed me a pretty good chunk of change with the breakdown and the loads that I run. I would say ballpark piece of change. Okay, okay, we'll 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 stay with that. We'll stay with that. Okay, so it's a it's a chunk of change that that it's this company owe you. Owe you. So you 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 talk to the man. You didn't get a chance to talk to the owner, but you talk to somebody that that supposed to get you your money. You you talk to him. You had a back and forth. You still didn't see a check. What's going on? Why do these companies, and I, I do not understand it. I, I don't understand it. It's a simple, it's a simple case of mathematics. 
I run the loads for you. You pay me to do it. It's just that simple. I, I don't see no, there shouldn't be no transgression in that. I run the loads regardless of if the truck breaks down or whatever the case, because you guys supposed to give me a truck that runs to do the job, not set me up for failure. And that's exactly what they, what these companies are doing. They're setting us up for failure. I don't know why. Maybe it's because these mega carriers like Yellow, uh, uh, Metal Art, and the rest of them is going out of business. And these fly-by-night companies just popping up out of nowhere so they can just take advantage of us and get some free labor. That's, that's, that's not how it works. It don't work like that. It don't work like that. So, bro, you, so you get hemmed up with this company, and, and not not only that they messed up your stuff, but they still haven't paid you yet. Like, what is what is going on? Like, today's Friday. You supposed to got, you supposed to got paid, but you ain't get paid. So, where where are we at on, on 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 that front? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Yeah, I talked to Arisa. The owner actually reached out to me today. And I guess after I made that video, that's when he tried to reach out to me. Uh, he said he didn't have none of my information. I said, that's a lie. Because I emailed it. And he's like, well, you want to wait till next week. You You get on your TikTok. You know, you vent about what happened. And after after that video, then the owner decides to reach out to you. How can the owner not have your information? I mean, don't they get all of that when, when they bring you on? They got your address. They got your li- driver's that, license. That's, that's the thing. They got your... That's the thing. You I gave them the like bank no information, paperwork. right? I didn't feel like no paperwork at all. Uh, wait, wait. What do you mean no paper? Wait. Wait, I'm confused, Mississippi. What what do you mean no paperwork? Like you didn't fill out you didn't fill out nothing that the only that paperwork get... I filled out the, the only paper I filled out was the one he gave me last Friday. I filled that out and I emailed it back in like I was told. That's the only paperwork. But at the front How was you supposed to, how was they was going to pay you if they was going to pay you? What, they was going to pay you by check? That's what I was trying to figure out. So you didn't fill and out, like, you, you didn't fill out no, you didn't fill out no paperwork like banking, routing, or anything like that, ACH paper, I didn't nothing? do that, I didn't do that until Monday. I didn't do that until I got my paperwork Friday. And I uh, filtered it out, and I sent it in Monday. Okay, okay. So the so the paperwork that you were supposed to fill out when you got there, you didn't fill out until they let you go. Yes. Because normally, and the way they was running me, I didn't have time to even eat the uh, not long fill out paperwork because I was running so hard. I was tired when I got done. And I went through all my paperwork. I didn't see nothing that says uh, banking information. So I was like, okay, cool. They must be going to write a check to me. And I was like, I'm like, wait a minute. People don't really write checks now. I'm like, screw it. I had to figure it out. So I started filling out my paperwork anyway. That's when my truck went in the shop. Well, got put out of service. So I didn't have access to none of my stuff. Because it was still left in the truck. All right. What's the name of this so company I didn't again? Have, so what? What's the name of this company again? CCS Logistics. And they out of where? Columbus, Mississippi. Columbus, Mississippi. Okay. This this sounds like a small. You owner. ain't gonna find a company. This 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 sounds like a small owner op, uh, owner op out the way black ops company, 
drivers, y'all, y'all just need to be careful. Mississippi, man, you need to be careful. You, I, I, I think we, we need to be a little bit more vigilant. You know, we know we let these companies vet us. Well, they get us on the phone and they want to know about how long we've been driving, if our license is good and everything like that, man. But we, we, we need to, we, the same questions y'all ask us is the same questions we need to ask you guys. Like, how long y'all been in business? Have have you been paying your drivers? Have you uh, give drivers any any uh, misdirections? Because that's what it sounds like. What happened to you, man? Now, my only fault. Yeah, with I my, admit, I admit this is my fault. My my only fault with you is is that maybe you know maybe if you're going to give the company a benefit of the doubt. You know, and and some key elements that are that are missing, you should question that, man. Like, hey, um, is there any more paperwork I need to fill out? Like, now I understand if it's a 1099 joint, if it's 1099, then you don't fill out too much uh, paperwork. But the banking information definitely needs to be filled out. You need to know. They need to know what what banking account to send the money to. Well, we need to definitely get That's that. It. This is my fault. Yeah, we definitely need to get that out the way first. So now, instead of this, instead of today, you're you're out of work. You're you know I'm I'm sure you got I'm sure your savings is depleting now because of the situation. Now you got to wait until next week so that they can finally you know cut you a check so they can take care of you and you can cut ties with them and i'm pretty sure i'm not gonna get all my checks because they owe me three weeks of work i'm pretty sure i'm not gonna get that so it's gonna be fun as hell trying to get all my money all right mississippi man well uh what what's the takeaway from this man like uh what what do you want the drivers to know about or about this particular company and what's the takeaway <laughs> this particular company don't go to it simple as that uh and the learning curve for this if you can't find no kind of research on this company you can't find not even a google review don't go to it it's not worth it Period. It is not worth it. Big cheese got it locked. Boy. Want you to love me all night? Yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real wet? Yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G? Yeah, don't make a sound.